chapter 35, verse 31 to verse 32. And what we inspire to you of the book is the truth confirming what was before it. God is talking to the prophet. Indeed, God to his servant is what? Cognizant and conversant. Now verse 32. Then we transmit. Now the word aurathna, huh? this aratha, waratha, is talking about inheritance. So God will cause the book to be inherited by those he has chosen. So he says, then we transmit the book to those we have chosen among our servants. So God will decide whose servant is going to inherit the book. Remember, Prophet Muhammad salam, inherited the Quran by what? Inspiration and revelation. And then it was written down. If you go to Quran chapter 98, verse 2 to verse 3, it says, Rasulu min Allah yatlu fiha kutubun kayyima. So he has the suhuf, which has the writings in them. If you go to Quran chapter 25, verse 5, even the disbelievers at the, his time, they bore witness that he wrote the verses of the Quran. They said, Iktatabaha, fahiyya tumla alayhi bukratan wa asila. So the verses of the Quran, the Prophet wrote them on the suhuf, uh -huh, the mushaf, right? The suhuf. So now, this book, which was revealed to him based on inspiration and revelation, it doesn't have to be preserved as a paper book directly throughout the years to reach you and I. God will choose servant just like he chose Prophet Muhammad as a servant and then he got it written down. God will choose servants to write it down and then we will have it today. This same book I have here, this text I have in this paper, this is not how Prophet Muhammad received it. It came to him and it has to be written down. So he wrote it down. And now today we have the book. You see, this is the different printing. It is not for him to have the same copy that he has used his time, like the same copy or the way he wrote it. Then exactly we will have the same copy passed down, generations, generations, preserved and got here. No, it is God to preserve the words of the Quran and pass it to generations that we can receive. But it is not to be written in the book whereby the prophet will pass it and say, hey, this is my copy. This is the one cannot be tempered. So take, give it to this generation, give it to them. No, not in that context, right? So it is in the context of the way God has revealed it by inspiration and revelation. God will choose his servant to inherit it the same way and the book will pass around. His words will pass around. So there is nowhere in the Quran where God asks the people to preserve the Quran. Neither does he tell them to protect the Quran. It is not the duty of a human being to do that. Simple.